Welcome to the ebook show where we update you on new trendy movies, be it Hollywood, Nollywood, or Bollywood. And my name is Sandra Yamenu, and I'm here to give you the update of this new trendy movie called Love and Twist. Love and Twist. And it's basically centered on Frederick and then Pearl. So Frederick was married to Pearl. Yes, they were living as nice and lovely couples. And then Pearl's um, mother in law visited. And even though she was happy to meet Pearl, but the kind of um, comments and things she was giving Pearl, it made her uncomfortable. That is because Pearl had given birth to only three daughters, no son and all those stuff. So this woman was like, look, you don't have a son. Today, if Frederick is not there, who is going to inherit all these stuff? Hmm? How are you going to maintain all these? How are you going to keep all these, um, you know, properties and everything because there's no man in this house so Pearl was like I mean God gives uh, gives you know female and male so if he has given me females what can I say I mean I'm not I'm not the one who determines the the, the, the gender of my children and everything so like ma please like just just give us time we would definitely maybe give you a male child so this woman was you know was like okay and that so um when frederick came back frederick was kind of sad because the mother has been you know disturbing pearl of you know giving her this male child and everything so um frederick had to you know uh, comfort um pearl and then tell pearl everything will be okay and then tell the mom to stop disturbing pearl about giving them male child and all this stuff children are given by god they are gifts from god if he gives you only female who are you to tell him you don't want no one of those who don't even have just one so um frederick told the mom to stay away from disturbing pearl about male children and all this stuff and then on the other hand Pearl was always sad in that because he she had a friend too that was like look Pearl if you want to maintain all these riches these properties and everything give birth to a male child so that if your husband is not there he would be the bride owner or bread owner of this house and everything and then you know all these things kept um Pearl worrying more and more so this lady was like Pearl's friend was like I have this um prophetess let's go and see her she's very good and all the stuff so um pearl friend took pearl to the prophetess and then you know they were doing their things and blah 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 and then told pearl to uh, you know have this intimacy or intercourse with the husband at this time they should do this particular style and some things like i mean some things that as a normal human being you would just know that they are scamming you but Pearl was so desperate that she didn't look at um, the other side of what they are telling her. She just wanted a male child. So she came back and called the husband from work to come around um, a certain time. And then this man rushed and came thinking there was a problem. Only for him to come and realize that Pearl wanted them to have an intimacy at this time. Because the prophetess said this time would be good for a male child. I mean, where did you hear this? So, well, in order not to... Um, make pearl worried this man did it and funny thing is that they weren't doing it on the bed or on the floor rather like i mean with some particular style but you know pearl husband i mean fred loved pearl so he did whatever um pearl asked later this prophetess was was like like pearl should bring the husband because the husband is married to a, a spiritual girl he's having a spiritual wife and the spiritual wife has taken all the male children and doesn't want to give pearl the the female children it even got to a time pearl had to let frederick take care of their their female daughters because prophetess said pearl shouldn't get closer to females i mean can you imagine it got to another time pearl was asked to bring um frederick to the to the place 
where the prophetess is and then frederick decided not to go so they themselves the prophetess and uh, her subordinates came to the house holding big bam bamboos like kings and they flogged uh, frederick very well in the name of their casting the, the 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 spiritual wife away i mean who does that Frederick didn't say anything. Frederick complied and did everything. So finally, um, Pearl was pregnant again. And this time around, lo and behold, their, their, their sufferings and everything didn't go waste. It was a male child. Yes, the, 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 the um, doctors or the hospital confirmed that, yes, the gender is a male child. So they were happy. At least, yay, their, um, their, their sweats and everything didn't go waste all the flockings and then the styles and frog styles and everything they didn't go waste so then it got to the, the time um pearl was giving birth now this doctor came to frederick and told frederick your wife has given birth to a, a bouncing baby girl frederick was like but the reports told us that she'll be giving birth to a male how come it's a, a, a female and then the doctor was like well this information you are talking about wasn't given to um, your wife from us maybe maybe it was a different hospital but she has given birth to a female child in fact a nice and lovely girl frederick was like what so frederick confronted um pearl and pearl was like yes she lied because uh, the prophetess told her to and convinced her that it, it would it would turn to a male like i mean what was pearl thinking i mean can you be so dumb to the extent that you get to this far of scamming oh so um frederick didn't say anything they got home mother-in-law came and then to her surprise it was a female daughter i mean female child and then this woman was like mm i said it this woman blasted pearl and all the stuff so frederick had to stand in for um pearl and then later frederick had an idea of calling the prophetess to tell the prophetess that oh it's a bouncing baby boy so come and then we celebrate so the prophetess came with her subordinates to celebrate so when they came they had the beatings of their lives and then they also beat fred but Fred also beat them. And even he got to realize that this subordinate that the prophetess has been carrying around was actually her husband. Can, can you imagine? So Frederick beat them and then they also beat him and then they ran away. And um, the problem here was that Pearl was finding difficulty in accepting the reality. So Fred had to come in and then coax um, Pearl and then told Pearl that everything will be okay. She should just accept the child yes she should just accept the child and and accept that it is it's a gift of god if god tells you you are going to give birth to a male you would besides pearl had the fear that maybe if she's not able to give birth to male frederick will go away but frederick assured pearl that look i am not going anywhere i am stuck with you i said i want to be with you if you want give birth to 20 females i, I am going to what be with you so don't worry and that was where Pearl realized that she shouldn't be worried at this point because the assurance she needs has been given to her. So she accepted reality and life went on. So like, guys, if you are giving birth to females, they are, they are still human beings. You never know. You might give birth to um, one male and that male will be useless. So female or no female, they are still children. Just embrace them and then accept the reality. Accept what God is giving to you. Child or children are gifts from God. Okay, so I recommend this movie to you. It's a nice movie and there's, there's so much comedy in it too. You will laugh. Yeah.